why the whole thing. Uh, mom and dad got together for reasons unknown and produced some offspring. Uh, I'm one of those. Uh, I... Okay, I had a series of weird dreams when I was a young person, five, six, seven years old, that haunted me for years afterwards, uh, in that I was convinced that they were very meaningful. And still am somewhat convinced that they're very meaningful, because I don't think that... There must be some kind of reason, uh, uh, I speak lightly about this, about why information like that is given to five-year-olds, or five-year-olds have access to this information. So, that set me on a lifelong interest in signs and symbols and stories and um, human experience. Um, and a lot of the human experience is... Uh, that's out there is, is fascinating. I am fascinated by the humans and what we do on the surface of this planet and even below and above the surface. Um, I'm one of them. I'm set to, I'm out to please myself, pure pleasure. Uh, I'm also out to mystify myself, and uh, I'm also out to demystify things for myself. Um, and I also want to provide pleasure to others by making things to people to look at. Um, and to uh, maybe mystify slash demystify things at the same time. So the why is uh, not why not. I'm never not going to go there with that one. Uh, but life is long and interesting. And uh, I've always assumed that art making is a byproduct of another impulse. And that impulse for this particular human being is uh, what can only be termed a spiritual impulse dare I say it so it's all in uh, it's all in service of, uh, of the planet and the goddess <laughs> is there anything that I haven't asked that you want to be asked oh uh, no not no not particularly I mean you know uh, anything that needs to be said that hasn't been said um No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, there's all kinds of ego strokes that I'm always open to, but uh, aside from that, no, everything's kind of cool. So yeah, how'd you get started? How, how did I get started in what, Chris? <laughs> you choose. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. And if you, when, once you say, this is how I got started in that, what then we talk talking about? What are we talking about? I have to read there. It's you as an artist, you as a gallerist, you as a uh, man about town, oh you as... Uh, Whatever, I'm, I'm basically going to let you lead the conversation, and I will steer it as it goes. Okay. Um, okay, well, I've always been drawing. I've always drawn since I was a little kid. Um, to the point that I did tell myself, rich or poor, I will make art anyway, so I don't have to necessarily go to school for art. So I studied other things in university, in literature. Um, sociology, psychology, that kind of thing. Um, but I was always drawing publicly also. So, and I was young enough to not edit myself, you know? So when you're 16 and you're putting things out in public, uh, rightfully so, you don't know whether it sucks or not, which allows you to continue uh, doing these things publicly, shamelessly. Uh, so when I was 17, I started doing gig posters for my friend's bands playing at Station 10 or whatever. And, uh, um, and that's kind of a good way to go because you're just involved in a community, a small community, and somebody asks you to do something and you do something and then it just snowballs. Um, to the point that, whatever, I've made a few posters in town now, I don't know, maybe 200 or something like that. Do you have a collection of them all? I do have a, I have a master copy of every one. These are all 8.5 by 11 black and white to be Xeroxed designs. Mm -hmm. So I uh, one can say that I missed the screen printing renaissance. 
not that it's too late, but at 42, let's say it's too late because I've got other things. My to-do list is in other directions now. Um, uh, so that was my activity here in Montreal. I was making posters in the mid nineties. Um, uh, some local cartoonists who were making comic zines invited me to participate. Uh, give me a page, give me two pages for a zine or whatever. And I did so, uh, but I didn't want to be the guy in the comic zine that was just doing splash pages. Or illustrations, so I tried my hand at comics, and I've tried my hand at comics earlier on, like in CJEP or even as a, you know, uh, in high school, just doing a few panels, and it was really hard, and I didn't know how to do it, and I was, it's, it was ridiculous. So, but I tried, and um, and it took me a long time, just until a few years ago, before I got comfortable. A few years later, sorry, a few years ago from today. Uh, I started getting more comfortable with the form, uh, with comics, telling um, sequential stories uh, with images. Um, you can ask me any. You can interject. Know. Yes, that you know that. You know that. <laughs> when, when was it? This you say that you've always been drawing. Yes. Do you have a sort of seminal moment when you were like three or something like that of uh, what's wrong with, uh, grabbing the crayon on the paper and saying, oh my God, or was there something you saw or is it just... Well, I have an older brother, John, and he's a year and four months older than me. So, of course, you know, if I'm four and he's five, he's, he's already drawing. Um, I'm drawing with him um, in our first house. So I moved out of that first house where I was four years old. Uh, I have a vivid memory of my uncle, who lived with us at the time, uh, who's an artist himself, uh, Iraklis Theodorakopoulos. Um, he decorated his bedroom, and he was probably 20-something at the time, he decorated his bedroom with my brother's drawings, and my drawings too. Um, so the first... So I have this, this, this image of, of a wall... And let's say from, I don't know what, um, some sort of height to the ceiling, um, covered in kids' drawings. My brother's and a few of mine, because, like I said, I wasn't drawing as mine. I was a little, I was younger. Um, the first drawing that I remember explaining to somebody, and it must have been him, was um, I described some monster as a, a hippopotamus that lives in quicksand. So that was my first... Uh, explained drawing that I remember. Um, now, as little kids that draw, if you're in elementary school um, and you draw, people know that you're one of the drawers. And there's a whole bunch of kids that can draw. Now, every little kid can draw. Some just stick with it past grade three and others don't, you know? And my brother and I, we stuck with it. So, uh, I was getting requests. I was drawing the... the John Travolta's fantasy uh, dream car or something like this and I was drawing from, from the musical Grease so I was drawing this car with lightning bolt on the side and then every, I would draw one on manila paper and then uh, a classmate would want one also and I would draw another one and like this so um, I wonder if any of those have survived that would be nice um, go, go top and go to your which one, 30th uh, high school reunion or 30, 30, 40th elementary school reunion that would be nice yeah uh, no it's okay maybe <laughs> maybe via Facebook I don't even remember which kids got these drawings you know uh, I also my brother and I also participated in the Morrison elementary school cookbook where um, I think he did a, I can't remember which was his page but I did uh, cakes or something like this so I drew a cake and a little sign saying cakes on or some cakes and desserts, I don't know what. Um, and also did drawings for the uh, elementary school newsletter, The Maury Sun. Um, so published very early on. It's always uh, a help. Pardon me? It's always a help. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. And I, I, because I also am a collector and I've been collecting every scrap that I've ever done uh, and the ephemera of my life... Um, uh, I have my old elementary school um, exercise books where I'm writing, you know, you know, the teacher gives you a sentence to start and then you, you create a ghost story or whatever. And four or five of these little compositions, 
essays that I wrote in elementary school, early elementary school, always ended with the line, and I was in the daily newspapers. Okay, so this is my heroic stance, like a, I'm going to be in the papers. Um, kind of ridiculous, but I get a charge out of being in the daily newspapers or the weekly newspapers or the monthly ones. It's always a lot of fun, and I keep a little clippings and everything. I don't even know why. It's some sort of... Uh... If you don't, who is? Well, yeah, exactly. You know, so I'm going to keep all my little scraps. No one's taking... Uh... No one's recording that stuff for me, you 